the bid from Gavrikov, held in by Andrzej Kopitar, and Jan Ruda knocks it out to center for Grunstrom with the Kings changing. Grunstrom a shot from long range, Thompson to the bumper spot, now moved along, Eklund plays catch with Thompson. Here's William Eklund, back to the rookie defenseman with a shot with some traffic in front, will float it back along for the Kings. Touched on for Andre Lee, six foot five rookie, drops it off, trying to connect with Tanner Janot, fired on net at Vitek Vanacek. Back to pass Warren Fogel, and slid along for Gushin, through the wickets for Zetterlin. Zetterlin gets it back, Zetterlin a shot, kicked out by Reddick. You know, less than a week ago, and right back at it, you don't have time to really celebrate. Trevor Moore with a shot, easily handled by Vitek Vanacek. He found we saw it a couple times on the power play and just on this last shift here, five on five. Shots are five for Sharks. Granlin speeding in, tried to center for Toffoli. Bounces out for a backpedaling Mario Ferraro. Eklund near front. Toffoli parked in front, up high, and Riddick. Considering everything they've had to go through here early, injuries, playing on the road. They're just starting to get going. You can see the work ethic is there and maybe the chemistry not quite yet. Blocker save from Riddick on to Foley. Back to the line. Stick the side by Riddick. Trevor Moore out through center and over the line with Phil Deneau. Sends it wide into the circle. Back to the line for Spence. And now Deneau with a wrister on net with some traffic in front as Vogel came jumping through with Kempe on the entry. Pulls up at the half wall. Kempe still with it. Floats it back for Brant Clark. Bumped around for Laferriere. Bank back for Clark. Clark with a wrister. Rebound and it's poked wide by Byfield. Cross corner. Bounces down for Tanner Janot. Anderson teed it up, kicked out by Vanacek. Anderson, the keep left point. Around San Jose with him in the lineup was just fantastic. And to see him get injured and not be able to play since, it's just devastating. Janot floated one along, and the shot came in from a trailing Trevor Lewis. On Vanacek. Kopitar swings it back around, and now Jordan Spence down the wall, dropped it back for Kempe, moved along. A shot comes in from Caleb Jones, most recently a 3-2 win at home against Utah on Saturday for Jim Hiller's Kings. Shot from the point, came in, and then Vogel tried to get a piece of it. Well, that was the worry when he got injured in the preseason, that it was potentially the shoulder as he went into the boards. And Riddick trying to cover it up and earn a whistle. And, and again, Ryan Warsawski said to his pregame, he's optimistic about the timetable for Celebrini. He thinks he's around the corner. Score from the point! It's Jake Wolman with a rocket. And the Sharks strike first. There's a big smile for the boys and a face-off win, which was so key, and it was help from the winger in Sturm to get it back to the point to Wallman. Just that second effort along the wall, and he's got his head up the whole way, and this is one that Riddick should have. And now Ferraro worked it back through the slot, broken up by Gabrikov, and reached for by Geno and drops for Trevor Lewis. Takes the check from Ferraro, floated it toward the front of the net. That can't be it from Tanner Geno. Turned aside by Vanacek. Trevor Moore. Motors in. He drops for Clark. Moving in. Clark a shot. Rebound. And they score. Akil Thomas pounds home the rebound. And the Kings answer promptly and tie this game at one. Play just the poise of Grant Clark, and here again, he recognizes, look at the time and space he has, he takes it not only towards the net, but to the middle of the ice, changes the angle, Vanacek has to figure out where this puck is coming from, it's a high near his head, he can't catch it cleanly with his glove, and how about Thomas just get... So it's Thomas at 318, his first of the season in game number one, after Walden scored at 220, now it's loose to the left of Vanacek, on Moore, trying to stuff it home, slides and get past Laferriere and CeCe, Laferriere tumbles, Turcotte collects, carries, wraps it around, and the save from Vanacek.
Tried to move it for LaFerriere and Turcotte. Knocked down by Alex LaFerriere. LaFerriere protecting. Hounded by Brunstrom. Carrying in behind with a shot. And Vanacek to stop. Backhand bid from Fogel. Andre Kopitar scanning. Clark blew a tire. And here goes Granlin. Mikhail Granlin in a load. Could not get it to go. Races shorthanded. Well, he just blows a tire. You can see his left leg just comes out from underneath him. But watch him in the background. He just starts slamming his stick. And he's hoping to be a distraction. He's praying for Riddick to make that save. And Gramlin, who's had the hot hand as of late, unable to put this one by Riddick. Small crowd tonight in San Jose, and they are not pleased with that call. Cunnin broke it up at the line, and Luke Cunnin moves in. Short-handed. Cunnin with a shot as he rose back up to his skates. And now Zetterlin floated it back and turned it over. Gavrikov was there. He's got Turcotte with him. Gavrikov a shot kicked out by Vanacek. Teams are combined 0 for 9 on the power play tonight. Zetterlin. For Wenberg, touched on, and Riddick adjusted, loose in front, and the Sharks could not get it to go. But you can see Riddick tries to put it back into his glove with his stick, and he misses it with his glove. And this one goes through cross corner, picked off the wall by Edmondson, and lobbed ahead. Touched on by Wenberg for Zetterlin on the hop. Zetterlin scores! And the Sharks have the lead. He gets a hard pass from his defenseman and Wallman, and he recognizes that he's got pressure. He just chips it to the middle of the ice. Zetterlin comes through with speed. You remember the bench penalty that he took earlier in the game that could have put his team back on their heels, and he comes back with a huge goal in this third period. And Riddick just slides. And he has responded the last two nights for the Sharks. You know as a, a forward when a defenseman... Cardwell got it in front for Grunstrom, and Riddick makes the stop. Along the wall, slid it past Byfield, and now Edmondson pinches up against Ruda. Wenberg dug it free. Vogel won it back. LaFerriere scores! And we are tied in two. Warren Fogle, the last meeting between these two teams, he had two goals. This is the kind of shift that the LA Kings needed. They needed guys to get in on the battle. You can see three Kings players there initially. Second efforts, and I mean, it just goes right out to the front. Turcotte just waits his time. He just has good time and space. Fogle knows exactly where he is. He finds that open space and puts this by. Down the left wing. Matched up with Spence, Edmondson, slams on the brakes on to Foley, and now Kempe, checked by Wallman, glove down, Wallman out in front, to Foley scores! And the Sharks lead again! And the veteran in... Tyler Toffoli, you know, Eklund has the initial rush. He pushes the defense back with his speed, but watch the hands of Toffoli. He knows that Riddick's going to come one way, and he just goes back the other. And that's just a veteran guy who's been around this league who knows how to score goals, and look at that. They go right back into the lead. Watch the timing and space. He gets in behind the defender in Edmonton. Still with it. Connects with Moore. Move for Clark. One-timer Kempe looking for the far post. Adrian Kempe, a one-timer, is blocked. Shipped ahead. Pursued by Eklund. He scores! The empty netter to cap it. Help your team win. I bet you Mario Ferraro gets this best because of that block shot right there. What leads to this empty net goal and put this game away. And if he doesn't get the best, I'm not sure who else should because this was unbelievable. Sacrifices the body, goes right to the bench. Still leaned over on the bench. It looks like it's his left hand. What a he fans on it. Kempe to the wall. Five seconds to go. Clark toward the net. Byfield picks it off the wall, and that will do it.
The Sharks have won back-to-back -back games on consecutive nights.